count and non-count nouns. Now, we're going to talk about two groups of nouns. Now, here we go. This is important for English. There are two groups of nouns. There are countable, let's write nouns here, nouns. Countable and non-countable. Okay? Some grammar books say uncountable. Okay? Now, there's two groups. If something is countable, we can put an S on it. Okay? For example, one apple, two apples. However, some things cannot be counted. So, let's talk about the things that we can't count. All right, now, one group is liquids. Liquids. Okay. In this group, we have milk and milk products. So, cheese, yogurt, ice cream, etc. Okay? Another one, cola, cola, tea, tea, coffee, coffee, beer, beer, wine, wine, and water. Okay? So, these are liquids that we eat. All right, so milk, cola, tea, coffee, beer, wine, and water. No S, okay, they're non-countable. Now, another group is powders or grains. Powders or grains. Now, here's some food in this group. Flour, flour, salt, salt. Sugar, sugar, rice, rice, and pepper. This is black pepper, pepper, okay? Flour, salt, sugar, rice, pepper. No S, okay? You can't count this. Flour, sugar, okay? You can't count them. All right, here's another one. Another group is meat. Meat. We have beef, beef, lamb, lamb, pork, pork, chicken, chicken, and fish. Fish, okay? Beef, lamb, pork, chicken, fish. No S. Okay. Now, we can count kilos, pieces, or cups of these things. So, for example, we can say, let me write it over here, one kilo of chicken. Okay? Or two kilos, kilos, of chicken. We can count the kilos, the S can go here, but not here, okay? So one kilo of chicken, one glass of milk, one glass of milk, or we could say two glasses of milk, but the S is here, not here. Another example, oops, I went ahead of myself, two kilos of flour, or one piece of bread. Or we could say two pieces of bread. Okay? So again, one kilo of chicken, one glass of milk, two kilos of flour, one piece of bread. So we can count this part, and the S's can go here, but not here. Okay? No S, no S, no S. All right, they are non-countable. Now, there are more groups, but for today, this is enough. Now, I want to talk about articles. 
with these words. Now, we saw articles before, and I'll show you this beautiful chart. So, here we have. Okay. General. General and specific. Specific. Okay? General and specific. Now, across this way, we can have singular. Remember, singular is one. Plural is many. Okay? Now, let's do these first. We have a book. General, a book. Specific, the book. The book. Plural, books. Books. Okay, books are countable. Books. All books. Specific, the books. The books. Okay, specific and plural. Now here, we can put non-countable. Now, if you want to say something general, we just say, for example, water. Water. Okay? Now, if you're specific, the water. The water. General, specific. No, a. Uh, never, a. Uh, Never S for non-countable nouns, okay? No A, uh, A, uh, no. S, no, okay, for non-countable nouns. Okay, now let me give you some examples to help you understand this. Now, we can say water is wet is general. Water is wet. The water in my glass is cold. The water in my glass is cold. So this is general. This is specific. Water is wet. The water in my glass is cold. Okay? There's one example. Here's another one. Flower is white. Okay? Flower is, we use it to make bread. All right? Flower is white. General. The flower in, oops, in the bread is white. The flour in the bread is white. Okay? General, flour is white. The flour in the bread is white. Okay? So this one is specific. And here's another example. Chicken is delicious. Chicken is delicious. General, I like chicken. Chicken is delicious. Specific, the chicken in this salad is delicious. Okay? Delicious means you like it. Mmm. 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 Yeah. Anyway, okay? There. Yummy. Okay? So chicken is delicious. General, the chicken in this salad is delicious. Specific. Also, notice that the verbs are singular, okay? Water is wet. The water in my glass is cold. Flour is white. The flour in the bread is white. Chicken is delicious. The chicken in this salad is delicious, okay? So, no a, uh, no s, and singular. Okay, now let's practice. Okay, now let me ask you some questions, starting with Isabel. 
Isabel, do you like milk? Yes, I do. Do you like the milk from a sheep? I don't know. Do you like the milk from the market? Yes, I do. Good. Please buy a liter of milk tonight. Now, Susan, do you like eggs? Yes, I do. Do you like the eggs from a chicken? Yes, I do. Do you like the eggs from a fish? Yuck. No, I don't. No, I don't either. Ugh. Okay, Ollie, it's your turn. Do you like yogurt? Yes, I do. Do you like ice cream? Yes, I do. Do you like the ice cream from the market? Yes, I do. Okay, all right. Now, you ask Susan about some food. Susan, <coughs> do you like beef? Yes, I do. Do you like hamburgers? Yes, I do, but I like hamburgers at home. Okay. Now, Susan, you ask Isabel. Isabel, do you like coffee? Oh, yes. Do you put sugar and milk in it? Yes, I do. I sometimes put hot milk in it. It's very good. Very good. Thank you. Are you getting hungry? Are you getting hungry? Okay. Now, it's time to look and listen. Look and listen. Tea is good. The tea in my glass is sweet. Fish is good. The fish from Canada is good. Rice is white. The rice on my plate is white. Read and repeat. Okay, now we're going to practice with some real food. We're going to have a cooking lesson. But before that, we're going to have grammar. So first I want to talk about these words. Some, any, a lot of, many, and a few, and much and a little. Let's put these both here. Any and some. Okay, now we can use these words with countable nouns. And remember, those are the ones that have S. And we can use these with non-countable nouns. Okay, and remember, the S is forbidden. Okay? Now, we looked at these before. Some, any, and remember, any is with negative or questions. A lot of, many, a few, three or four. Some, any, a lot of, much, for non-countable, and a little. Okay? So, if you look at the chart on your screen, here are some examples. So, some, some apples, some, some water. And then we can see any, any apples, any, any water. Next we have a lot of, a lot of apples, a lot of, a lot of water. Now, these two are different. Many, many apples, or much, much water. And then finally we have a few, a few apples, or for non-count, a little, a little water. Okay? Now remember that any is used only for questions and negatives, and let's look at some examples. So, 
you can see the difference. Now, here we go. I have some apples. I have some apples. Do you have some apples? Do you have some apples? Do you have any apples? Do you have any apples? Okay, this is a question. I don't have any apples. Here's negative. I don't have any apples. Or, I have a few apples. I have a few apples, three or four. I have a lot of apples. I have a lot of apples. I have many apples. I have many apples, okay? These are the same. A lot of and many are the same. In North America, we use this more. Okay, now, here's another example. And this time we'll use non-count. So, I have some water. I have some water, okay? Question, do you have some water? Do you have some water? Or do you have any water? Do you have any water? Remember, any can go in a question. I don't have any water. This one's negative. I don't have any water. I have a little water. I have a little water. I have a lot of water. I have a lot of water. I have much water. I have much water. Now, we don't use this one very much. But we use this one more. I have a lot of water, okay? But maybe you'll see this. Now, we're going to have a cooking lesson with real food. And let me take these to our assistants because they're going to cook. All right, one for Ali. And let's see if I can do two for one. One for Isabel. And one for Susan. Thank you. Okay. Now, I will stand here and ask you questions. Now, look in the boxes and let me ask you. Ali, do you have any salt? Um, no, I don't have any salt. Do you have any pepper? No, I don't have any pepper. Isabel? Do you have any oranges? Yes, I have some oranges. How many oranges do you have? I have two oranges. Okay. Now, Susan, do you have any eggs? I have five eggs. Okay. Do you have any milk? Yes, I have some milk. How much milk do you have? I have a liter of milk. Okay. Now, Ali, do you have any bread? Yes, I have some bread. Do you have a lot of bread? I have some. Okay. Do you have any cheese? Mm. Yes, I have some cheese. Okay, all right. Do you have any mustard? Yes, I have some mustard. All right. Okay, good. Now, I'm going to tell them to make lunch, but I want you to remember how we used imperatives. Now. Imperatives tell someone what to do. I'm going to tell them how to make lunch. Okay, now, 
First, we'll start with Ali. Ali, put the bread on the desk. Oh, you put the bread on the desk. Okay. Take some bread and put on some mustard. Do you have a knife? Yes. You don't want to use your finger. Okay. Put on some mustard. Oh, very good. Now, put some cheese on the bread. Okay, one more, one more. Okay, one more piece of cheese. Okay, now, close it. And what do you have now? I have a sandwich. Yeah, hold it up so we can see it. Yes, a very good Ali cheese sandwich. All right, okay, now, Susan. You have a bowl? Yeah. Okay, all right, you need the bowl. Okay, now, why don't you move the box so we can see the bowl, all right? Okay, now, put two eggs, open the eggs, crack the eggs. Okay, one, okay, one more, another egg. She's an expert. <laughs> okay, now, add some milk. Put in some milk, a little bit. There we go. Okay, all right. Now, stir it. All right, is it ready? Yeah. Okay, now we have an omelet, kind of, <laughs> later. All right, okay, Isabel, you're making dessert. Now, take one orange okay. and cut the or peel the orange. You're going to peel it. There, you can cut it first. There. Okay, peel the orange. Finish peeling that orange. Oh, it smells really good. And she's getting juice on her hands. All right. And now we have pieces of an orange. Yay, there's dessert. Okay, Ali has made a wonderful cheese sandwich with mustard. And Isabel has made an orange dessert. Thank you, gourmet cooks. We will eat later.